So we're here in Wallace, Idaho, and we're sitting down with Rick Schaefer, the Prime Minister of Wallace. Wallace is located along the Coeur d'Alene Trail, and we're base camping here to do some biking and fishing adventures. Uh, so Rick, for someone that's never been to Wallace, how would you describe the area? Well, Wallace is a, well, the, the town itself is the entire town is on the National Historic Register, so it's like frozen in 1899. From here, you know, in town we have the history fe features of the uh, mine museums, we have a train station museum, a bordello museum, and also an underground mine tour. So that's a history component. After that, now we're going to recreation. We have two uh, Hall of Fame rail trails. One is the Trail of Coeur d'Alene, 72 mile paved, non-motorized bike trail. Spectacular rail trail. Then we have the Hiawatha, which is a totally different animal, which is 16 miles with 10 tunnels and seven trestles. Talk a little bit about what the trails meant for the town or for the region. Well, you know, I've been here for just over 24 years and uh, seeing the transition from uh, basically a, a mining, uh, there's always been a mining culture and we still have the mining culture that supports the economy. But we have diversified that pie into tourism and recreation out of need because mining has its ups and downs and we need to survive all of them. Mm -hmm. So uh, we just, with the turning of the uh, Trail of Coeur d'Alene from the Union Pacific, Northern Pacific Rail Line into a bike trail. Mm -hmm. And the Hiawatha coming online about 13 years ago is just total, total turnaround. Basically in the 90s before the trails, we were, we were hinged on people traveling to or from someplace else. Mm -hmm. A stopping way on the Glacier, Yellowstone National Park, Seattle, Hell's Canyon, or things going to other places. Uh, they would stop in, do the mine tour, do our history component. but. Now these rail trails, people come in, to do the high walls, they stay longer, they buy gas, they buy some food, have a, have a beverage, and just turn the whole thing around where people come to Wallace as a destination. People stay longer, they come spend the night, or they stop and have lunch or dinner on the way home, whatever, but uh, I say it's been a gigantic transition. We, uh, I would say, uh, the increase in percentage in our business for recreation purposes is probably 40 or 50% of it in, in oh, the wow. summertime. That's amazing. Least. When the discussions were first going in, going on about converting into a rail trail, it's probably like the general opposition that most rail trails get. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. They were going to close it down, just lose it as an as a economic engine. Right. And through a little bit of pushing and coercion or whatever it takes, <laughs> the foresters <laughs> jump on board. We got some legislative support and made this gigantic bike trail. It's just incredible. We have this Union Pacific, Northern Pacific rail line. What are you going to do with it? Well, it could be rail banked and give, give them back to just the adjacent landowner which you create just one more personal junkyard. Right. No economic benefit. Or we can make this beautiful 10 foot wide paved trail that people, thousands of the people come to use, uh, bring them to an air, air, economic, economic area that needs, mm -hmm. uh, needs, some, uh, <laughs> needs some funding, so to speak. <laughs> these people come and visit, and that's what it's done. I mean, we, it could have been lost. It was just, and I'm not sure who, who takes credit for that, but right. it was so close to giving, just becoming a trail that doesn't exist anymore. And that's what's so important about other trails like John Wayne, and other trails in America that you know, rail trails don't give them up because once you lose them, you never get it back. Those right. small towns in Montana, De Borgia, Hagen, Saltis, uh, we're going to learn or know already the benefit of biking and recreation. Well, we're so excited to finally be here. I think we've met you multiple times. Taking a couple, once you planted that seed many years ago, we're like we put on the list and we finally <laughs> made it happen, and we're we're so stoked to be here. I mean, Wallace, just walk around last night. It's amazing how. How, how well the, the trail has been received. When you walk around as a cyclist, you know, there's signs of bike everywhere. When you sit down somewhere at a restaurant, they ask you, oh, which way are you going? You know, it's like they really recognize like uh, the trail economy and the importance of the trail right. economy. They, they understand, you know, we understand the benefit, but also bikers and hikers, recreationers are just people, they wanna have a good time. Right. Be friendly, give them some good food, a, a hot, hot shower, a cold, a warm bed. It, it, you know, everybody's happy and it's just a, it's a great clientele. Awesome. Cool. Well, thanks so much for staying down with us. Great, great. Come yeah. back, send yeah. folks. We appreciate it. Will do.